Hi, it's Deborah with Paper Palette Studio. And today I'm going to show you how to complete this picture. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is let you know that the snowman himself is created with a color called cream that I have premixed. And it's just to kind of give some shade to the snowman because when we put him right up against white, we don't want him to disappear. So we got to have a color and you can use blue, but I've already created the cream. Um, because we're going to use blue down here in the snow area. Okay, so here's our first circle. That's his bottom part of his body. Now let's do our second circle. And I'm going right over my pencil marks. And you can do two layers of this. We're going to let this kind of set. There we go. And now let's do his face right up under his hat. following the circular outline that I gave you. Okay. There we go. Now I smoothed the paint out just a bit. We want our second body to connect right about here. We don't we don't want it indented too too much. There we go. We want the second round of our snowman to be sitting right on top of the first round. Okay. There he is. Um, I just have to go check this water. All right. So now the next section we're going to do is the background of this very beautiful snowman. We've got a royal blue and black. So what I like to do is I like to just hit it with mainly royal blue and a little bit of black. But you can see that the black goes a long, long way. So to kind of double up with the blue but I like the blue in its purest state closest to the snowman 
himself. And that is because when you take a look at him, you may be looking at the snowman from a distance and it'll look like his blue nightfall is just barely behind him and then it turns to black. So it kind of gives you a half and half. So I'll take this navy blue and just go as close with this flat large brush to his hat and see right about here this is pretty good this application right about here I'll start doing black and I'll do that while it's still wet so I could get a good blend together um, because the black is very harsh with the blue so we want to blend them nicely together. The idea is to, to make it look like he's in an evening twilight, an evening fall. So you got some black in here for sure. We'll put this on this side closest to the edge because I want this blue over here. I'm not cleaning my brush because I want the two colors to blend together. And I'm using again my widest brush. All right, so let's get this blended in. We've got, yeah, this canvas is a little porous, but now I'm going right up around his hat, just on the edge. And bringing it downward here, okay. Taking your brush at a 90 degree angle and just following the lines all the way out gives you so much control. There we go. Now, I drew a line down here for my snow, but you know what? I'm gonna stop right there and I will bring my snow up to where I'm stopping here. That's kind of your prerogative. You can pick and choose how high you want your snow to go. Um, I kind of want it to meet me half, not halfway, but I want it definitely as if I've got this snowman sitting on a bed of snow. Let me dispense a little bit more per, uh, blue. And here's our black. And let's get up in this area. This is gonna be darker. I would like this to really kind of reflect the night sky because it's gonna be out in the darkness. And once the black hits it, we'll just blend this part out a bit. Again, it looks very dark. That's what we would like, it's what we want. You can move the paint. All right, and now we'll do this end. And again, this end is, the far end is black. We want it to come to the center.
Mm -hmm. I like this navy. It blends well with this. It, it does really well. Uh-uh. Don't touch. Okay. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to let this dry. And I'm going just around the puff of his hat right here. Perfect, perfect. I see it's looking good. Okay. And good girl, Sammy. Good girl. No touch. All right. There we go. Okay. Let me just round this out. Yeah. No, uh uh. Rounding this out. Uh uh uh. <laughs> so I know. Okay. Let's move you. Take just a bit of the white. And just kind of complete these circles. And this is another thing. When you're working with this navy, it really discolors your water greatly and when that happens you gotta try and cover it up a bit all right I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna put in her scarf and we determined that the scarf here was gonna be this oh, God, pretty blue And I'm just going to put it in right here, right around her neck, kind of like a collar. Just like this. And Is our shawl okay and I'm also going to take this blue and go right around the top of her head just like so Just like this. This is the top part of the beanie. Just around the curve, same color, right around the curve.
just like this. So there's the top part, and now we've got this beanie point, like a snow cap, a snow hat. And I'm going to take this color all the way to the end, like so. And this line we're going to use for black. And here we are right to the end. There. Okay. Give that a few minutes. Now, the color that we're using is a wine color to put in these corresponding stripes. Here's my brush. I gave you a very small pointy brush. That's what this is going to be used for. But before we do that, we're going to put our black in. So you're going to take the black paint Put it just at the end of your round brush. And you're going to create her hat. Just like so and I'm going right around the bottom half of the hairline like so and let's see we're gonna make this just a tad wider from the top and then that line that we had here we're going to bring this straight down this way just like that okay and now I will go ahead and put the eyes in and the mountains were already dipped in black. Um, I want you to just put it right at the point. We're going to do sort of like an arch eye, just very much like, and leave a space in between because the nose will go right down the center, just like this. And her mouth, in this case, is going to be one, two, Three, two, three, like that, and let's see what else. Oh, we'll put our buttons in. Now, notice I'm not putting any buttons up here because they won't be in line with him so we do have a button but it's right behind the scarf itself 
All right, I'm also now going to just give this scarf an outline with the same line brush that I'm using. Dipped in black, and I'm doing just the tip of my brush. Okay, and let's see. I don't want to mess with the arms just yet. I'm going to clean this off and we're going to put those stripes in for her hat. All right, first I'll go ahead and put this color in right at the end. And I can make this a pretty good size. Now for the striping, I'm going to take this wine color, red wine color, tip of my brush, offload just a bit so it's not too, and I'm going to go, <coughs> excuse me, straight across to this black line. Okay, starting from here. And they could kind of be haphazard. So you want to give it sort of a curve when you're out here at this edge and then come around instead of a straight line. You want to start with a curve and a curve and very small there. Now we've completed that and now for this one I'm going to go, uh, am I going to go this way? Oh my goodness, I don't remember. Should I go that way? No, I'm going to go straight down. And then we can just polish up these lines. Okay, very good. All right, now that I like, okay. So I'm going to take the orange. I want to get that nose in because I want it to dry. And clean off your brush. Use your absolute small round like we used before. And you're going to off-center it. I don't like to put it straight up like this. I like it at an angle. So I do a line at an angle at the bottom. The point of the brush, I go straight up and straight down. And you can go right up onto her cap. It's perfectly fine. Fill this in gently. I like to add a little bit of dark color to this. Uh, let's see. Eh, just a tad. Well, that's more than I wanted, but I'm going to outline it right here. You can cover that. I'm going to turn some light on. I don't know if this helps, but okay. So there's her nose, there are her eyes. Let's get into her arms. Um, and we've got her hat. Oh wait, I wanna add, I wanna darken this right here. I need this to dry. We are gonna be adding snow. 
to the top of this hat. There. Okay. All right. And now we will be adding fringe to her little scarf. Um, but for right now, we'll wait because we've got to work around all that. Let's see. What are we doing? Okay, arms. Her arms are a combination of the brown and black together. It just sort of makes it look woody instead of just black. And I come straight out from here and down because she's got something hanging from her hand. So I don't want it over here. I want it where we would naturally stick her arm. Okay, so let's go right over that and there. And remember with twigs and sticks, they kind of have branches sticking out just like this. And now it's getting difficult to see. Second arm, here we go. Let's see, what do I have? Okay, second arm. I want to do it exactly where the other arm is so that they kind of look even. And that arm comes, and I'm going to block everything here. That arm comes straight up and then up. kind of like a salute. So I'm going to just kind of go right over this. There. Because we'll cover this. We're going to use some gold. There we go. All right. She's in. Okay. So there's her arm that'll support a hanging star. And this is also gonna have a star. This will have a star over here. And then she'll have this chain of lights. What else do we need? Oh, her stripes on his scarf. Okay, here we go. Stripes on the scarf doesn't matter. I like to make them wavy because it kind of made those straight. If you wanna do a floral pattern, dots, it's quite all right. You may do whatever you would like. I'm just for time's sake. But you could do whatever pattern print you want on her scarf. Um. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. So it all kind of comes together here. And everything looks... All right, now I'm going to put her fringe in. And that's going back into the red or wine, whatever you want. And just giving it some fringe tassel right in there. And now we're going to go over this pom pom one more time. And you'll notice I left a little area. We're going to cover that area. Okay, now um, the tricky, the tricky part of the tricky part. Well, actually, wait, where's my gold? Here it is. Let's put in her arms so we could see them. Again, your small little pointy brush, your 24 karat gold, just a tip. And you're going to run across the top of her arm, right? Like as if the sun was hitting 
the top part of the branch. So it's kind of half gold and half brown now. Um, there's this and that. And I'm, I'm going to also do these parts of the twigs that are coming down by just quickly brushing over it lightly. There we go. All right. And I'm going to maybe fill in what I've got here with this gold only because, I don't know, that's part of her hat. Um, now, I am going to take this brown, and uh, I should have pulled out some of that gold. Uh, let's do it from here. All right, I'm mixing some brown, and I'm mixing some gold together. And that's going to be the cord for these lights we have to be able to see it so the lights are going to come sort of like a, a meandering twist and turn all the way down here to the bottom okay so I'm going to start at the top come down and the reason why I mixed it with gold is so we could see it as we're working with it because you want to be able to go over You want to be able to go over there. I think it's it's tough to do if you don't um, have a really flowing medium. Sometimes it gets stuck on you. All right. So there you go. This is the cord that are going to hold all of your Christmas lights. There. And the cord sort of lights up, which actually is pretty nice. Let's get some more gold up here. All right. Now, what we're going to do with the lights is we're going to go down the chain with a dot of this gold paint. And you're going to put a dot on the other on opposite side of this rope opposite and key parts space it apart because these are the Christmas lights you don't want them right smack on top of each other and you don't want to be here all evening doing Christmas lights Okay, and make it kind of large. I only say that because this is the luminous part of the lights. They look like they glow, if you will. Um, but I don't like to do too many coming down the line um, because just be let's see now that got messy it just gets tedious there we go that looks rather balanced we're going to put in since i've got the gold going i'm going to put in his star here there's the chain and the type of star i make is just that um 
five point star. Let's put a little brown in there so it's at least visible. That's a, This gold is gorgeous, 24 karat gold, but I'm noticing as using it, it shows up really well if you have a second color with it. It shows up on its own beautifully, but you gotta have a lot of <clears throat> layers. Um, I wanna put the star up here. There it is. Let me fill it in. Now I gotta see how I'm gonna hang it. Now it really shows up, obviously, on this dark background. There. Somebody might argue that's not really a star. Okay. Right now, we're doing it this way. Okay. There we go. All right. Now I'm gonna cap this, and let's get going with the colors. And then we'll put in our snow. All right, so I like to use the bright colors for these Christmas lights, like yellow, orange, green. And I, I put them in staggering, here's. So once I'm done with it, I don't use it again. And I put it in right in the center of, uh, and you can make it look sort of oblong. I put it right in the center of that gold because if, if you make it look oblong, it'll look like a Christmas bowl. And um, just kind of go up the... Let's see. Let's see, those are too close together. I like to like keep them separate. Not like we wouldn't string three orange lights in a row is what I'm trying to say. So we got to keep it separate. And green would be, um, I have green here, but you guys, whatever bright colors you have, and red. We'll use red. Since red is out, and it's here. Oops, that's it. Okay. All right. Let's see. Anything left? Yeah, this. That. Oh, that's right next to it. Okay, here's a red. I like red at the very top. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Where's my light? <laughs> I just rammed you guys with this paintbrush. Okay. Um, we could put a little gold here. Oh, that came out nice. That came out good. Now you see what I mean? You can see the cord of the, um, where did that extra, I saw one that wasn't, here's one. That looks muddy. Uh, okay, I see two. Okay, all right, well, let's go with the blue. A dark blue light. I don't know. That looks all right. Okay. 
Um, I saw one other, I think it was this one that wasn't done. There we go. Change that out. To the same blue that we use, because his dark blue is just not going to work, that we use for his scarf. There we go. Um, okay, let's see what else. we got to put the snow down on the bottom of him. And that is just about... The last that we need to do, we're putting snow down here. Now I'm just going to go right up over and kind of make it ruffly. Right up over where, and we're going to put a snow mound right on top of his hat here. We're going to put one right in this area. And we know there's going to probably be some that may fall on his arm and right in here and maybe right there on that shoulder too. Okay, and that's just a gentle pounce. Um, all right, and you can see the variation with this I, I was hoping to get it, this dark blue against the black, and it just looks like he fades into the night, or the night sky starts to envelope him, if you will. Um, okay, so let's get down here. This is pretty wet. I want to use just a, yeah, just a touch of the blue. And this is the same navy, and I'm using it just to create sort of like a wintry ice blue illusion on top of this snow. But if you use too much, oh, it's overpowering. Can't get rid of it, it's blue. It'll make this look like an ocean, and we don't want to do that. So you had to just use the corner of your brush. Okay, so we've got this, and now we have to put the snow, and then we're gonna write the words joy. So let me clean off my brush get into this small little round because I want to show you how I do that. We're pouring out white paint again right here. All right, I'm taking that small round that I gave you guys and I'm going to handwrite joy right up here just like this and fill in and it almost works as a pen so you can make it as fancy as you like and I like to fill it in all right, 
And the last thing is the snow and how I do that. And I also have like little snowflakes that I take the point of this brush and they're just sort of like that. So it's almost a cross with two sides. Cross, and then I come in here and here. And I just kind of do this randomly. Because, um, we would like to break this up just a bit. All right. <clears throat> The first line you can make a little bit longer. So we'll do one right here. We'll make this line and then that, and you come right up. I'm losing my point. Just like this. And feather it out. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're taking the back end of this very small pointy brush, we're dipping it in the white paint, and now you're going to do a series of dots in groups of three so that they don't line up. So you're going to kind of make a triangle with them so they're not in a straight line. But they definitely fall random onto your canvas. You can do as many of these as you like. I will go on my hat. See, I just like to do that triangle all over. Sometimes I get uh, turned around and I don't do that. But I like it because it ensures that I'm not lining three dots up at the same time. Just dip right back into your white paint as soon as you're done. snow falling on him. All right. There is our joyful snowman. I hope you enjoyed doing this. I'm going to add gold to his tassels because and you like you can do this as heavy as you want to do it. And let me just do the tassel part really quickly. And it kind of makes your snowflakes not disappear, but it they don't fade away. They just work right into what we're what we are doing. See, I'm adding the gold right here. Yeah, we added the gold up here. I completely lost my light. Oh my god. Okay, and a second round of gold on this.